Hello everybody, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to more Call of Duty news out there. This time around, we're going to have a fun video for all of you guys. Ranking all of the current leaked is supposedly going to stay the same as well for these Call of Duty franchise team. Ranking each and every one of those team names from worst to best for all of you. I'm not going to waste your time. Let's break it down, guys. Number 12 all the way to number 1. But I do want to preface by saying these are my opinions. I'm not trying to piss anyone off. If you guys are a fan of one of the teams that I don't like their logo for or their name for, I do greatly apologize. I'm not trying to offend you. And the end of the day, you know, this doesn't really matter too much. So you guys can leave your thoughts down below. Leave your rankings down below. Number 12. For all of you Gopher fans out there, the Minnesota Roker come in astonishingly at number 12. The Roker, if you guys have no idea what that is, most of you are probably on the same page I was before I Googled it. And uh, when you do Google it, it turns out it's actually some sort of Nordic mythology for some deities out there, which could be of the underworld of ice and fire and death. And uh, for that reason and that reason only, they're number 12. Because I have no idea what the heck they are and how they're relevant to Call of Duty. Number 11 is following pretty closely. Luckily enough for the New York Subliners guys, it's actually the Roker naming themselves after a non-existent thing. And so that's why number 11, just ahead of them, will be the Subliners of New York. Yes, you actually named your Call of Duty team, a game notorious for gun gameplay, gore, violence, shooting people. You name yourself after a set of railroad tracks. The New York trains are number 11. New York Subliners are number 11. And when it comes next up on the list, guys, very quickly, 10 through 7 are pretty much your basic names on the list. I think they probably could be a bit farther up or on the list, maybe a bit better if they do actually have some solid logos. They make me think of, generally speaking, the Overwatch team names out there, so I wasn't really um, convinced these guys belong anywhere higher on the list. It's actually the Toronto Ultra, the Seattle Surge, the Paris Legion, and the Dallas Empire. Those four can be interchangeable. I just don't think because of the uniqueness, because of how basic they are, although Dallas Dallas Empire and Paris Legion do sound a lot cooler, I think, than the Surge and the Ultra. I just can't put them any higher because they're not they're not that unique and they kind of sound like Overwatch team names. So number seven to ten guys could be in any order out there. I'm gonna put Legion and Empire at the top of that list, so because I think they sound the coolest of those four. And number six, smack dab in the middle of the list, guys. I'm gonna put Optic Los Angeles. Now, why I'm doing this because I know a lot of you guys would probably put them last because there's a lot of optic haters out there because it's not really the green wall, it's not really optic and that's a fair statement to make I do think though optic is still such a call of duty epic name that it has to be I think a pretty good uh, solid rating here on the list so I'm gonna split right in the middle guys I would love to put them number one but you guys would hate on me for that and you guys would probably like to put them in dead last I'm gonna put them right in the middle at number six optic Los Angeles I think belongs right there and breaking the top half I'm actually gonna put the London Royal Ravens they might become the London Ravens because apparently Royal is a, is a coin term over there where apparently they still think Kings and Queens should be a thing, which still baffles us Americans. Uh, you guys, of course, can make fun of America for a lot of things, like the metric system, so I'm not trying to make fun of Mr. King and Queen over there, but apparently royalty might be taken out. Either way, the London Ravens is a very coined term over there. The, the Tower Defenders, the London Tower Defenders out of Ravens, I think that's very cool, very unique, especially if you are a homegrown fan over there in London, and so because you didn't name yourself after a train, I will put London Ravens or London Royal Ravens at number five. And here's where the list gets very debatable. Now let me tell you guys right now, this depends a lot on logos too. So this is just a set list. I'm not going to make another video about this, but logos would certainly impact this if we already had those out as well. I think a lot of these teams can actually make their logos super dope, especially these top four or, or maybe even five on the list on top of that. Number four though, I'm going to put it as the Chicago Huntsman. When I first read the name, I was like, you know what? It's not that cool. Huntsman is actually a giant spider. That'd be terrifying. Huntsmen, you know, a group of hunters, I would say a group of boys or girls out there doing their thing. I think it's actually pretty cool and relevant to Call of Duty. So I'm going to say if they nailed this logo, definitely a top five, if not right now where they are right now on my list, a number four spot for the Chicago Huntsman. Um, yeah, it's just offensive, to be honest. Number three, got to be the Florida Mutineers. Again, based off logo possibilities for Mutineers, I think they could nail this one down. Also, I'm going to give them credit where credit is due. At least they're trying, okay? They're based in Florida around the, the, the coastline, guys, where pirates might have been. They named themselves the Mutineers, which, by the way, though, Mutineers are a group of rebels that don't actually uh, like to uh, follow authority, so hopefully not going to be the same way inside that team. Uh, but I'm glad they didn't go with the basic pirates. So Mutineers, to me, sounds pretty cool. Logo 
logo could be pretty cool. And an A for effort, Florida people, because you're actually trying to adapt yourself, maybe relevant to Call of Duty because mutineers probably had guns, and also around the coastline. I think that's pretty unique and pretty cool. And number two, guys, our second Los Angeles team will take number two on my list. That's going to be the Los Angeles Gorillas. As long as they can actually avoid offending people out there who don't know the difference between gorillas, as in guerrilla warfare, and gorillas as the animal, this one is actually going for guerrilla warfare, which I do like. Generally, a smaller band of people out there fighting against a larger opponent in irregular fighting style that's relevant to Call of Duty. It's, it's perfect. It's actually a really, really cool name, especially if they get that logo down. I think a very underrated name here, guys. The Los Angeles Gorillas, number two for me, which does solidify our number one spot. I know a super basic answer, and that's why I've said before, number one through five can be pretty interchangeable, just like number seven through ten, I think, can really swap around quite a bit. This entire list is very subjective to what you think is cool, just based off only seeing names, so keep that in mind. Atlanta phase, though, to me, is going to be number one because it's the only maintained Call of Duty name besides Optic that will actually be FaZe Clan, apparently. We don't know too much on the partnership so far, but if it actually is FaZe, it's the only team out of all of these besides Optic that gets to keep a legendary Call of Duty name or a well-known, to some of you guys who don't think it's legendary, Call of Duty name inside the Call of Duty Franchise League. And for that and that alone, I think they deserve a top five spot. On my list, I'll put them number one. They easily could be, though, swapped around with anywhere, like I said, one through five. That's my list, guys. And again, when it comes to one through five, I think just given how they're unique names, right? They are unique names, could have some very cool logos out there. I think they actually put the extra effort in there. The Ravens themselves, that's actually based around the city they are, of course, located in. I know New Yorkers are going to probably be pissed at me. I understand that. But also when it comes to the Huntsmen, the Mutineers, the Gorillas, that's Call of Duty relevant. That's warfare relevant. I think that's pretty cool to attribute to. And then FaZe Clan, they're an OG name uh, in the esport, or at least in esports in general. And so that's why they're going to be on top my list for now. As always, though, very curious what you guys think. If you don't want to give me your full list, give me like your one through three. What's your top name out there? What are your top three or five names out there? If you want to give me your full list, I will be reading comments all day long. As always, my name is Jake, breaking down esports and gaming news here all day long. And this morning was super fun because for once, I got to start off the day by just making a list for all of you guys and telling you why I think that way. Now, you do the same in the comments if you want to. If not, you know what? Thank you for watching either way. Until next time, guys, I hope you all take care of yourselves. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys back here sometime soon. Bye.